Today we are going to be telling you how much it costs to actually run our solo mining kind of farm that we have going on here. We have the Canon Avalon Nano 3S, we have the Nerd QX++, and we have our 4 bit axe rig with two gammas, one Supra and one Max right there. So it's not to warn you against solo mining, it's just to give you an idea of how much it's actually gonna cost you across a couple of years and kind of the odds across the years of actually finding a block. It isn't to warn you against solo mining, it's kind of make your own decision on it. But today it's just gonna be going over the figures and showing you how much this whole thing costs to run. And then secondly, the actual cost of everything that is here. It's just kind of to bring awareness of, you know, before you get into all of this, how much it's going to cost. The main draw of the bit axe is that it's a solo miner that doesn't really cost that much to run. So that's the good thing. But as soon as you start getting into more of them and buying more of them and buying more solo miners like this or the Nerd QX++, that kind of gets into a territory where you have to factor in the amount of electricity cost that it's costing you across however many years, months, or weeks. And you also have to factor in what your odds are overall of actually hitting a Bitcoin block. They are gonna far outweigh kind of the amount that you're spending right now, but that's only if you hit a block. So let's get into some figures on the computer. But before that, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, Crypto Miner Bros. Since 2018, CryptoMinerBros.com has been the premier site for top tier crypto mining hardware earning the trust of miners across the globe. The prices displayed on their site cover shipping and DDP straight to your doorstep, ensuring no unexpected costs at checkout. They deliver to over 100 countries and even provide lower invoicing options to help you cut down on customs fees. Payment is a breeze with options like direct bank transfer or cryptocurrencies including Bitcoin, USDT or Ethereum. With over 250 ASIC options, they stock some of the channel's favorites like the Bitax, the Bitax Touch, and the Avalon Nano 3S. Join tens of thousands of happy customers who rely on CryptoMinerBros.com for dependable hardware fulfillment, clear pricing, and a top-notch service. Check out CryptoMinerBros.com today, link in the description. So here we are on the Nerd QX++ dashboard. We also have all the other Bitaxes in here that you can actually see. So this is the AliExpress one that we got. This is the normal one that we have for the Gamma, sorry, the AliExpress Gamma, and then the normal Gamma. If you've watched the videos, you kind of know what colors I've assigned to each of them. And then you have the Super here, and then you have the Bitax Max right here. So across all of them, we have four Bitaxes, the ones that you've just seen. We have a Nerd QX++ and we have an Avalon Nano 3S. And we're currently all mining them to solohash.co.uk just because it's the closest one to us. But we do have a Bitcoin mining node running video, which is going to be coming out, I think, in a couple of days, where we go through the whole process of setting up your own node and then setting up how to mine to your own node so you can be kind of self-sufficient and how to open that up to be a public node which people can actually view. But currently solohash.co.uk is the closest one, so that's what we're using today. And you can see all over the hash rate here. One thing about the Nano that we still really want is that web viewer where we can view it in the web. Some people have said you can get it on the Google Play Store that you can install onto here on Google Chrome. I'm not really sure how that works, but that just seems like a lot of effort to get it into the videos. But currently we're still using the app on our phone to view kind of the hash rate and change things around in there, such as the pool. So overall, this is how much hash rate we're looking at. And this is also our odds here. But the first part of the calculation is going to be calculating how much it actually costs to run this across, you know, a day, a month, a year, and then maybe 10 years. So our first calculation that we're gonna do is that one, and it's gonna be based off of our power cost. I am in the UK and the power cost is extremely high right now compared to the rest of the world. 
So overall, we have a power rate of 26 cents per kilowatt hour. So a lot of people will have way lower than this, but for some reason, the UK is a very high electricity rate. I think it's to do with how the companies work in the UK. They go based off the highest rate and then everyone bids on it. Personally, I don't really know truly how that works, but there's a reason for it being so high when compared to other countries, even in the EU or compared to America. So I know that a lot of people are going to have kind of lower than this. So it might be an overinflated figure, but this is how much it personally costs us to run the whole farm for 24 seven, basically. So we have 26 cents per kilowatt hour. The way that we're going to calculate it today is we're going to take how much watts the whole farm is producing and then we're going to divide that by kilowatts to give us our figure then we're going to times it by the cost per kilowatt hour times by 24 to give us the daily figure so i'm going to go through all of that right now and one thing that's made it way easier is swarming all of these so in the swarm all you have to do i think is automatically scan and it brings up all of your miners that are here Clearly, we don't have the Avalon Nano because it's not based off of that. But I think we could actually search the IP address of it to try get it up here. But I don't know if it's also going to include into there. So total hash rate is 8.55. We're not really worried about that right now. We want the total power. So we're going to round this up to 150. So it's going to be 150 watts. It is going to go up and down. If you see, we can click refresh. It goes 149.5, but let's just round it up to 150 overall. So that's how much watts we're using per hour on all of these five machines. Now, the other machine, which is the Nano, we can actually read the LCD, and that is sitting at around 130 watts or around 6.33 terahash. So we're going to add another 130 on top of this to give us 280. So that's how much watts we're using per hour across the whole of the rig. Then our next calculation is either to convert this to 24 hours to see how much we're using over the day and then divide that into kilowatts and then times that by the electricity cost. So remember, this is hourly. So we're going to times by 24 to give us 24 hours in a day. And that comes out to 6,720 watts overall. And then all we have to do is divide that by, I believe it's a thousand. And that gives us 6.72 kilowatts per day. Next step is to times that by our cost, which is 26 cents per kilowatt hour. So overall, we're using 6.72 kilowatts per day. And then we times that by how much it costs per kilowatt hour. And we click enter. So every day it's costing us $1.74 to run the whole thing. Now that does seem like quite a lot. Obviously a bit axe will cost way, way less. The main power draw is actually coming from the Nano and the Nerd q -Ax. Those are gonna be the main power draws there. As you can see that right there, the Nerd q -Ax is breaking about 80 and the Avalon Nano is 130. So that's making up a bulk of that. They're the most expensive to run at the moment. But the bit axes all put together equal probably this nerd Q ax. So the bit axes on their own, if you're just going to get one of them, that is pretty much going to be negligible in terms of the power cost. But when you're using higher hash rate and higher wattage devices like the Avalon Nano or the nerd Q ax, you do have to factor in how much you're actually spending on power because if it grows too big it might be spending quite a lot on power per month but to also give you some comparison a s21 full bitcoin miner asic from bitmain uses around 3300 watts which is going to be times by 24 which is quite a lot of kilowatts per day times by this which would pretty much bankrupt us if we just kept that running solo so these are kind of to get into Bitcoin mining, figure it out, and then make your own decision on buying an ASIC, I guess. Also to decentralize the network for solo mining. But anyway, let's get back onto the calculation. So we have $1.74 per day, and then we can actually times that 
by let's just say seven days because we're on a weekly scale so weekly we're spending twelve dollars twenty three cents and then yearly if you times that by 52 you're going to be spending around 635 dollars on electricity cost which is actually quite a lot across the year the odds of actually hitting a block are far outweighing the amount of cost that you're putting into this obviously i do want to preface this that we can supplement some of the power cost with earnings from youtube and earnings from other revenue streams so I'm not too worried about the power cost overall. Just take it as a warning that it could be very expensive to run a bunch of these machines if you are in a high electricity cost place. And this video is more to show you kind of the reality of how much you're actually going to spend across the year. And mainly the big thing that I want to show you is the probability to cost ratio of hitting a block. And the way we're going to show that is the block probability that we see here. We have a daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. So if we are spending $635 a year to run this whole setup, and our chances are one in 1,076 years, you can times this number by how many years it takes on average to mine a block. So 1076 that we see here, and that is going to equal $684,000. A Bitcoin block currently, I think, is going for around 300,000. So if we minus three, let's just say 312, let's say it's at 100K. So you're in the negative still if you hit a Bitcoin block. You'd have to hit it in the next 500 years to actually be even. So you'd have to have 50% luck on the network. Otherwise, you're going to be in the hole $372,000. Probably not going to happen because this is in a thousand years, so it doesn't really matter overall. But let's just say it's in your lifetime, we can take that same figure, 635, that's how much it is per year. And then we can times that by, let's just say you're mining for the next 20 years overall and you're building up. So you're going to spend 12,700. If you don't hit a block within that time, then you're in the whole $12,700 overall. So that is kind of the reality of solo mining. This is why I would recommend if you are going to get into solo mining, clearly we are doing a lot of this for video purposes and we have a kind of ROI on that because we do make money off the YouTube channel. But if you're going to get into it, I would personally just go with one or two bit axes because those are really negligible in terms of the cost to run. And we can just give you an example here. Let's just go with the gamma that we have here. Let's just say we turn off the whole farm, but keep one gamma on right here. And let's just go with 21.1 watts. So the one that we're looking at is this one down here. So it'd be 21 watts times by 24, and that's 504. So that's half a kilowatt every single day. Divided by 1,000 is put it into kilowatts. And then we times that by 0 0.26. So every day we're only spending 13 cents on running one gamma. And then we can times that by 365 to find the yearly. Over the year, it's around $50 to run one of these. And that is kind of negligible, I would say. We are operating at a higher electricity price. So for those that are in kind of good regions, let's just say, we can do the same calculation for you times by 24, that's the watts, and then divide by a thousand, so kilowatts per hour, and let's actually put the price at 12 cents per kilowatt hour, let's say that you have that. That's going to give you six cents per day, times by 365, it's going to cost you around $22 across the whole year to run a bit X gamma. So the reality is you are burning a hole in your pocket for these miners currently, but because we can supplement it with other streams of income, it's fine for us. But I'm not recommending that you go and buy a massive farm of bit axes or nerd Q axes or Avalon nanos. This is just a reality of how much it costs to run all of this. And your odds of running it aren't that great against the price that you're going to pay across the years that you're actually going to be mining or alive for. So that's just my opinion. You guys can let me know in the comments. It is kind of giving you a reality of 
what it is to solar mine in terms of the price. If you guys have any questions or opinions, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content like this.